How you calculate your student grades is completely up to you. I just want to give you a few examples on how to use the grade tool in Brightspace to calculate your student marks. Some teachers give students grades in four different categories, knowledge and understanding, thinking, communication, and application. Others calculate grades unit by unit. To create a new category, all you need to do is click on the New button and select Category. For this example, I'm going to set up four categories based on knowledge and understanding, thinking, communication, and application. So my first category will be knowledge and understanding. I don't need to put a short name in here, and I don't need to put a description. As far as the weight, we'll take a look at that later on. And now I'm going to click on Save and Close. You can see my knowledge and understanding category is at the top of the list. I'm going to create the other three categories. I've now created my four categories that I'm going to base my student marks on. I want to adjust the weighting for each of these categories. I can do that by using a bulk edit. I want each one of these categories to count towards 25% of my students' marks. Click Save, and I'm all set. Now I have to start adding grade items into each one of these categories. Let's create a new grade item. Click on the New button, and then select Item. There are different types of grade items you can select. Most common is the numeric. Now I have to give it a name. I have to decide what category this assignment is going to go into. I can change the maximum points this assignment is going to be worth at any time, and I can change the weight of each item inside of a category. When I'm finished, I click Save and Close. Now you can see in my Knowledge and Understanding category, I have one assignment that is going to be marked out of 15, and it has a weighting of 25%. If you haven't set up all of your categories and all of your assignments, you very well may see some warning messages up at the top. You can see that my knowledge and understanding sums to 25% and not to 100. You can also see that my thinking sums to zero, communication sums to zero, and application sums to zero because I haven't added any assignments into those categories yet. I wouldn't worry about any of those messages until it comes time to calculate student final marks. I'm going to go through and add a bunch of items to each one of these categories and we'll take a look at what my final grade scheme is going to look like for this course. All right, I've added all my items to my grade categories. It's a bit of a mess here. I like to reorganize this. I can do that by going into the More Actions button and then selecting Reorder. And in this first category, I like it to be Assignment 1, 2, and 3, so I'm going to change the order here. And the same thing here. This is going to be number 1, 2, and 3. That looks good. 1, 2, 3, that's good and one and two and say save and now I can see that everything's cleaned up a little bit and the next thing I want to do I'm still getting a bunch of error message up here in terms of my weightings not summing to 100 percent so let's select all of my grade items categories and let's do a bulk edit and let's work through here now you can change this at any time if you decide that an assessment that you're giving has a different amount of max points you can go ahead and change that and then enter your student grades. Also, if you decide you want to change the weighting of different assignments, you can change that at any time as well. For this example, I'm just going to go through and I'm going to make sure everything adds up to 100%. So now when I click on Save, you'll see that I don't have any of those messages up at the top. All the items in my categories sum up to 100%, and all my categories add up to 100%. One of the things I forgot to put in here was a final assessment. So let's add that category in here. And this is going to be worth 30%, so I'll change that weighting to 30. And go ahead and click Save and Close. And now you'll see that all of my categories add up to 130%, so I'm going to have to make some changes there. So I want to change the weighting of each one of these categories. This needs to add up to 70. Click on the Bulk Edit. And if I want to make this all equal all the way through, I can simply change the weight for each one of these categories to 17.5 and that will do the trick. Save and close and the only thing that's missing is items for my final exam and culminating. So I'm going to go in and add an item or two in there. The first one is going to be a numeric item and I'm going to call this the final exam. It is going to be marked out of 150 and its weighting is going to be 50% of the category. So 50% of 30%. And I'll add one more item in there, and this can be the culminating assignment. And it's going to go into the final exam category. Maximum points for this one will be 75. Again, I can change this anytime I want, and it's going to be worth 50% of that category. Save and close. 
and now I still have some error messages because the final exam I didn't actually get it into that category and let me show you how I can fix that I can simply click on final exam and this will take me into the place where I can edit this grade item I want to make sure that it goes into the final exam culminating category this is also where I could change the mark I think 150 is going to be way too much let's mark that out as 75 and then save and close since I don't have anybody who has completed this assignment I don't need to worry about that error message now all of my grades total up to 100%. I'm all set and ready to go.